It's hard for me to describe Sid personally because I adore him. I love him. He gave himself an exercise, at, I think it was at the end of every one of his shows, where he would have to come out and be Sid Caesar, talk like Sid Caesar. That was almost impossible for him. Give Sid a character, give him a costume, give him a funny hat, and he can be anybody. He could be ad lib forever. But to just show up on camera as Sid Caesar was a terrible exercise in, in self-exposure for him. He had a nervous habit of clearing his throat when he was <coughs> like this, when he was being Sid. Uh, he was shy about himself. But boy, we're talking about a genius. I'm an A genius. Sid let me be all the things that I never knew I could be. He encouraged me to try new avenues of funny. Uh, Mary Tyler Moore, bless her gracious, generous heart. She said on her uh, biography, the television biography that she did, that, uh, that she learned a lot of her funny stuff from watching me. And uh, I found that an enormous compliment. In fact, Carol, uh, Carol Burnett later told somebody that she had learned. She used to sit in the theater uh, when we were doing the Caesar show. She, she knew a, a, an usher who let her sit in the top row of the balcony and watch them put the shows together. And she said that she had learned a lot from just watching how she, live shows were done. Uh, she told me about that later, too. Uh, it's a great compliment that these two brilliant stars give me some credit for some of the things they learned from me. And I must say that what I invented, I didn't learn just for myself. I stood in the wings every night watching Danny Kaye on stage for over a year. I worked with Willie Howard. I worked, you name some of the funny people that have ever lived. We all learn from each other. We take from each other and put it into ourselves and out comes Nanette Fabry, the funny lady, or Mary Tyler Moore, Carol Burnett, you name it.